September marks the beginning of the recruiting season. Summer's over. The fall is the best season to build your business. That's because once the summer season is done, people shake the beach sand and barbecues out of their heads and begin to get more serious about making money. Vacations are over, school is starting back up, businesses seem to start buzzing again. Expenses start to rise. Inflation and the rising cost of everything is causing more people to need to make additional income from home. In the fall, you got more social events, parties and family get togethers than the whole rest of the year put together. Combining all of these factors results in two important things. One, people spend more money. Two, people need more money. So with that in mind, understand that the more people begin seeking part-time work or finding a better paying job in September than any other month, that's when people get serious, really serious about making money. So there is a simple, easy way to find perfect prospects on LinkedIn and Facebook. People that we know in advance want to make money from home. So with inflation running out of control, skyrocketing gas prices at the pump, record numbers of people are actively searching for alternative ways to generate income without relying solely on having a traditional job. Last month, 10 million people jumped on LinkedIn. They did it for a reason. Every month, millions of people are jumping into LinkedIn to find extra ways to make full-time or part-time income. That's why it's so very important to know how to find them before they sign up with the competition. So for those of you that are not up on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is the world's largest professional social network. You have 860 million professional users. And it's no longer a secret in the network marketing industry. It was in 2017. Well, today, billions of marketers are rushing to join every month, forcing LinkedIn to make significant changes. So when you know the kinds of professionals that would be naturally interested in getting into business with you, they're easier to find, connect with, and enroll them into your business on LinkedIn than any place else. LinkedIn makes it easy. If you're looking for work, LinkedIn provides you with a frame around your picture that says, open to work. And so just because they have an open to work frame around their picture does not mean they're gonna be prospects for your business. Some of these people, you know, some of the, some of the profiles you're looking at were abandoned five or six years ago eight years ago. And just because somebody is open to work doesn't mean they have the experience, the aptitude, and the skills to be successful in your business. So just because someone says they're open to work doesn't mean that you want to talk to them. So when you're looking at someone's profile, you need to focus on these sections, the profile headline, the about section, where they talk about their story, their activity, the experience section. And, well, you can look at the number of connections they have. LinkedIn makes it easy to pull out the people that would naturally be interested in your business. People looking for opportunities, 7.7 million. Looking for, our, this one was looking, 7.7 .7 million. Looking for opportunities, 1.6 million. Looking for opportunity, 1.1 million. And these numbers change all the time. Seeking, 3.7 million. Open, 2.1 million. So you do a search. Teachers that are looking for an opportunity. And we get all kinds of people. 28 people on this page, 28 people, 28 teachers that are looking for an opportunity. We look at the profile, we check to see who 
has the aptitude. You're looking for the kind of work that would make them successful in network marketing. And we come up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So out of 28, we come up with nine. Now, the next part of this is we start conversation. We don't need to reach out to the other ones. So we start talking to nine people. And within two or three messages back and forth, we eliminate six. We follow my scripts and you end up connecting with four active people who are gonna be interested in your business. That's the way it works. Now, unfortunately, Millions of marketers are jumping in onto LinkedIn and virtually jamming promotional messages to everyone, which is the reason that you must remove all of your information about your network marketing business from your profile. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna pop over here. Now, so on a daily basis, I'm in James' account. James is one of my coaching students, and I have uh, started a special project with James where every day I'm going to jump into his message area here, and I'm going to review who he's talking to and what he's doing, all right? So this is what you want to do every day. Every day, you get up in the morning. First thing you're going to do is you're going to look at the top, your toolbar. You can see one new person has been added to your network or wants to join your network. You got one new message since the last time we looked. And over here, he's got 29 notifications. So the first thing you do, you go over to your network. So he's got 4,820 people that he's actually connected to. Diana here and one other person accepted the invitation that was sent out. And then you got Three people that are reaching out to you. So Ian here invited me to attend the Power of Image Personalization. So we're going to ignore that. We don't care about that. Then we got two more. This is another invitation. We're going to ignore that. And Rena sent a connection request. So every day, every day, we're going to come over and we're going to check to see who's new. Now, I want you to notice that when you accept somebody, LinkedIn is going to suggest some of Rena's connections that could be prospects for your business based on mutual connections. So we're going to go with account manager. We're going to connect with him. So if it's someone you don't know yet, we can follow them to see their updates or send them an in-mail. Okay, we got that. But that is a, a roundabout way to reach people. LinkedIn is changing. She's in a company, network marketing company. Now, they're going to give you 12 of them. Whoops. Now, they're giving you eight. They're reducing this. This person's a trainer. Let's connect with her. 
Okay. Now, every day we want to reach out to 10 to 15 new people. So we're going to come over here to our messages. And this is what this is something that you need to be doing every day. So let's come back over to the network. And let's go over here and look at these people. We just did this a, a minute ago. This one accepted it an hour ago. So every day, we're going to reach out to the people that are new. Try, try to build her, her network. And our basic icebreaker is going to be, it's very nice to connect with you on LinkedIn. I've made some amazing and wonderful new trends this way. How long have you been on LinkedIn? How's it working for you? So we can come down and let's look at Diana. So we sent her a connection request. She accepted it. So now we're going to pop in the on screen. We're going to go down and we're going to make sure that all of our new connections we're going to confirm that we've made the connection. And you always end a message with a question. Let's connect. Okay, so he sent it out. Now we're gonna send the iceberg. Now we know that some people are gonna respond so no. This was four days ago. So here we sent the first message. And now actually always oh, we, we didn't send him the first message. We're connected. Maybe he sent us one. So we sent him the iceberg. Let's come down here. Now you can see the people that are online. We're connected. And we're asking a question we're asking questions that can easily be answered. And let me come down here a little bit. So for some reason, my send button's not coming up. Well, let's see if that continues. When things like this happen, don't, don't, don't uh, go crazy. So let's look at, this was some four days ago. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of confirmation. Now, we're confirming them over here in your network. Now we come over here to the messaging. Range.
This was from today. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to look at everybody to decide who we want to continue to talk to. Remember, when we're searching for people, we want to pick out people that have a high probability. A high probability. That they'd be interested in our business. We know that people with the over the work icon are looking for an opportunity, and a lot of times people take that off. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to reach out to the people that just accepted us, and we're going to hit them with the ice cream. Now, let's take a look at that. Diana here. We open up, we look at her profile. Experienced sales professional. Well, that's what we're looking for. We come down and we look. Now, notice, by the way, that we can see her followers. So we know that her, she got a follow button instead. We come down, what, what does she do? So according to this, you always look at the entire profile. She was an account executive. She worked for seven months for this company. She stopped working in July. So she's been out of work for a month. She did this for almost a year and seven months. And prior to this, she was an account executive. She sold warranties. So this goes down to 2018. Well, she graduated from college in 2009 with a degree in art. Question is, what else does that, what, what's the rest of her experience? But we're connected. So we sent this out. Now, how long have you been on LinkedIn? How is it working for you? Is a message that people are not so readily anxious to answer. But when you want to acknowledge everybody, it's a safe message. However, now we've come up with something a little bit more friendly. And it generates activity quickly. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to send her a motivational message that revolves around the subject of dreams. And you send the image first. Now, she just saw it. Just saw. Now we're going to pop the message in. I just sent this to a good friend and thought that you'd appreciate it too. I routinely send motivational messages like these to my friends on LinkedIn. I hope you enjoy them. And now we want to answer a question. We got on our profile. So she was working here for full time for seven months. What prompted you to leave job After for
And we're gonna say that over. We want to ask questions that are easy for people to answer. But you saw how quickly people will react, people will respond. So first, we're going to look at the people that clearly have a visible need. Now, here's a conversation that's been going on for a while. Going back to a year ago. All right, a year ago. And we're going to take a look at Jeffrey. So Jeffrey is looking for work. He's a consultant. Extensive experience in management, sales, marketing. So he's been looking for, according to this, he's been looking for jobs since March. He's a project manager for a sign company. And so it's hard to, so there's too much confusion here. We don't know what he does. He always is seeking a new opportunity. Let's come over here and let's take a look at the message history. He's living on built up resources. So James reached out to him last year and he wrote back right away. As a matter of fact, almost instantaneously. Thanks, I'm pleased to connect. Okay, how long been on LinkedIn? How's it working for you? That's the icebreaker. And Jane, Jeffrey wrote back the next over 20 years. So the way to stay in touch with co coworkers. And then because we had changed the date on his profile, congratulations on your work anniversary. Okay, so it, it, what exactly do you do? Now, that is a wrong question. Because if you look at his profile, you can see he's looking for a job. So apparently, I look for work. Okay, so James is asking the wrong questions. You look at his profile, the question you want to ask, and you could say to somebody, you know, your, your, your profile is a little confusion, is a little confusing, because according to your profile, you're still a project manager at the sign company. According to this, you've been looking for a job for three and a half years. Help me understand what it is. What are you doing for income if you're not working? And, and so we're coming back here. How's your job search coming? Well, he doesn't answer that. Now, so what's James doing here? He's using his project launch script too soon. Sounds interesting. So, actually, I wrote this. I'm not sure how it sounds interesting. I was expecting something more in the line of yes. I'm extremely interested in learning more about it. Can I get a yes so we can continue? And he lands. I mean, you're having a conversation with somebody. 
If it was going to cost you $500 to show somebody your business, you want to know more about them. But beware, I chase enough rabbit holes to be looking for a pie in the sky stuff. So then in December, James sent some this. I left her at the Virgin Islands yesterday. I'll get back to you soon. Now, so over the holidays, he was still on the Virgin Islands. So what he could have said here was, you know, Merry Christmas from the Virgin Islands. I'm looking forward to connecting. All right. Okay. Now, what was the last thing you said about pie in the sky? For pie in the sky stuff. What do you mean? What do you mean, pie in the sky stuff? I'm not sure. You know, what do you mean? I chased through rabbit hole. So looking for the pie in the sky stuff. What does he mean? Every opportunity to qualify somebody. All right. So no pie in the sky stuff. Well, I'm looking forward. So we're trying to set up a time to talk. So what do you mean by rabbit hole? Last job I had, what I lasted two weeks before the conditions of the job were unilaterally changed. Okay. Now, you want to learn more about the other person. So what were the jobs? What were the jobs? What were you doing? So, what have we had experience that we had with network marketing? Limited door to door. Do you remember the names of the companies? Never answered. So, now here we are. He comes back to him in April. So, one of James' issues is he's not staying in touch with people, but you can start it up any time. So how is your search for new work coming? You never answer. So he's sending him a message, how are you enjoying the holiday? How you celebrate? See you in July. How do you celebrate? Again, we asked up how are you celebrating the holiday? It's the same question. All of our dreams can come true. Not pursuing it much. Okay, so it's a holiday. You use the holiday strategy to restart conversations. Now you're going to find when you start talking to people, there are going to be people that respond right away. The more you talk to somebody like this, the less likely they're going to be what you're looking for. So today is National Banana, Banana Split Day. How in the world are you surviving in these crazy times? Bad question. Bad question. But we got the conversation living on built up resources. Okay, that was Sunday, that was yesterday. 
Now, what we could do is, is we can go over on the internet and we can look for a motivational quote like, Well, it's about making money. Well, here's one. While you sleep. Get the image. Okay, so Warren Buffett Let's take this one here. Copy it. All right, so we're gonna come back over here and that, okay, so. Living on built up resources. So you always wanna be thinking ahead. What is the question? He's living on built up resources. The question would be, how long can you continue to live on these resources? I mean, resources run out. So first what we're gonna do, we're gonna send that over. Now, How long you're built up So they run out. No banana splits. No tomorrow's <clears throat> beach day. And so now we're going to work our way down the list. All right, so here's somebody. Again, we just look at what they do. Graphic design. Professional cartoon arts. Okay, so telling somebody I'm definitely interested is the wrong message. You, you, you're not interested in her doing art, you know, doing a caricature for you. See, she doesn't have any kind of residual income. So she's been doing this for five years. And she's a graphic designer, level two seller at Fiverr. And she's selling her service. So, how so here we just we just sent this. We just sent this, and he's back. So there are ample opportunities for you to talk to people. Your challenge is you got to be talking to people who you have a pretty good idea could be prospects for your business. If not, stop talking to them 
and talk to somebody that you feel could be a good prospect. So let's quickly take a look at Kenneth. Experience it global. Now he's working. He's working. So There's no need to talk to him. All right, so now here we are. So he's shocked. So again, we're not going to waste time with this, okay? The bottom line is. Okay. Now we could see if she'd like to do something on the side because she only makes money when she's making a cartoon for somebody. So we're going to go. So we're going to say, I hope you had a nice weekend. Because you can do that every Monday. You can reach out to people and say, hey, I hope you had a nice weekend. Now, let's change the subject. Okay? Pay a compliment. Very well done. Okay, what did you do prior getting into this risk? These are the things that you want to know. Tuesday. Right? So these are follow up questions. And, and, and there's no hurry. There's no hurry. How long have you been on LinkedIn? Okay, this is Thursday. Today's Monday. Today's Monday. You need to be doing this every single day. So let's take a look. Virtual assistant. So, May, July, she was a lead generation specialist. She stopped doing it in July. It was a project. So, customer service. And these are project based.
Okay, so today is Monday. I mean, I had a nice weekend. So. To become a virtual assistant. And I start your own business. Why? Now, let me take a, a quick peek here. So it's all about conversation, right? Let's come over here and let's look at Michael. So, Michael, uh, did you come up here? Are you one of these? Let's look at this one. This is a marketing development. I've been doing this for 14 years. I'm going to log out of James' account. And I'm gonna jump back into mine. So at the end of the day, let's see if I can find it. So I guess the same two came, the, the same two came up. Okay, so that was a week ago. Well, the bottom line is the question that you want to know when you're going to talk to somebody is what do they do? And if you know who you're looking to talk to, you want to put yourself out there as the person And so you're telling everybody here that you've been part of the Inspire Network. Inspire. So nobody has to guess. 
Nobody has to guess. And if you're looking to connect with people who would clearly be interested in your business, you can pop over here. Okay, this is why you don't want to have this kind of information on your profile. Uh, let's find out what the Inspire Network does. So I put it in here, Inspire Network Review. Is it another ML Imperial scam? Scam. Legit. Be careful of the new MLM in town. This was in 2018. Let's see what they say. Well, it is not look very nice. Doesn't look very nice, not very appealing. So what is it, what, what do these things do? They create doubt. Things you should know. Here we have another online business opportunity. And they go on here. Bottom line, you don't want to have anything on your profile that smacks of network marketing, period, period. So let me pop over here. You don't want to be perceived, and you're not going to be the first person that ever reached out to people trying to sell them stuff. Now, did you know that it takes 90 minutes for the average person to respond to an email, but only 90 seconds for the average person to respond to a text message? So you can talk to people anytime you want. At will. 99% of your prospecting, recruiting, and business building activity can be done on your mobile phone. When you are set up correctly to do it, Michael, you are, you've been in that, this company for, for over five years. And based on the rank you list, it doesn't look like you've been very successful. Now we know why. Easy to talk to your prospects with a text. Texting is like talking. Texting is something, is sometimes better than talking. Most people don't answer their phone, say, but everyone looks at their texts. A text is as intrusive as an unexpected phone call. It's universally accepted. Most new network partners are reluctant to call people, but will eagerly text someone when provided with proper strategies and script, scripts that work. Texting doesn't require any special skills, and there is no learning curve. And unfortunately, too many people in your business are being taught the wrong things, and they crash and burn. When done properly, texting is amazing. So the happy birthday strategy has worked for well over 22 years. Now that we can use moving images, it's working even better. With somebody a happy birthday with a moving image, people react quicker, respond, respond faster. 
Well, last Wednesday was National Waffle Day. Give you an opportunity to use a holiday, communicate with somebody, ask a question. Friday was National Dog Day. And Sunday was National Bowtie Day. You can look up and see how long you've been connected to somebody. Hey, we haven't talked since 2016. In addition to being National Bowtie Day, it was also Wine Day. Folks, you have unlimited access to people using moving images will make you stand out from the crowd of other people that your prospects are talking to, makes them smile, makes them respond to you faster. The ripple effect of your posts can start conversations that result in sales. So whether it's a birthday, anniversary, some kind of a motivational message, something that your prospect can appreciate and relate to, whether we're talking about finances and rising gas prices or a holiday. So today, Friday was National Dog Day, Saturday, Bowtie Day, Wine Day. The next holiday of mention is National Beach Day. But now we're getting into September, and oh my God, do they have great holidays. There are over 40 holidays that you can start conversations around. International Bacon Day. Labor Day is the big official one. National Read a Book Day. National Beer Lovers Day. Star Trek Day. Grandparents Day. Batman Day. So, folks, I invite you to join me in our upcoming boot camp. Starts September the 8th. Go to maxlimer.com forward slash boot camp. Use the promo code best deal. Best deal, it will drop the price to $79. A better deal for those of you that are new. Jump into two boot camps. MaxLineGuard.com forward slash two dash fur. Participate in the September and the October boot camp. Use the promo code double to participate in two for $118 or $59 a boot camp. And our fall retreat, October 21st and 22nd, where you will learn what the top earners in your business know, but no one talks about. 